Hi everyone. While the legacy of HMS Victory is often intertwined with the name of Admiral Horatio Nelson, another towering figure in British naval history also commanded this legendary ship, Admiral Samuel Hood. Although his fame may not have reached the heights of Nelson's, Admiral Hood's impact on the success of the Royal Navy was immense, particularly during his tenure as commander of Victory in the late 18th century. His achievements during the critical Mediterranean campaign laid the groundwork for Britain's naval supremacy, helping secure vital territories and keeping enemy forces in check during a turbulent period. Admiral Hood was an experienced and decisive leader who took command of HMS Victory at a time when Europe was embroiled in the French Revolutionary Wars. The Mediterranean, a strategic theatre of operations, was a vital region for maintaining Britain's trade routes and geopolitical influence. Hood was entrusted with leading the British fleet in this theatre, and he quickly established himself as a bold and strategic commander. Under his leadership, HMS Victory became more than just a warship, it became a symbol of Britain's unwavering commitment to maintaining dominance at sea. Hood's ability to manage complex naval operations while maintaining the morale of his crew was a testament to his tactical genius and deep understanding of naval warfare. One of Hood's most significant achievements came during the Siege of Toulon in 1793. At the time, Toulon was one of the most important naval bases in France and was held by royalist forces opposed to the revolutionaries in power. Sensing an opportunity to strike a major blow against the French, Hood devised a plan to support the royalists and take control of the city. His actions were bold and calculated, victory was at the heart of the operation, overseeing the British fleet's efforts to take the strategically vital port. For several months, under Hood's command, the British forces controlled Toulon, creating a foothold in the Mediterranean. Though the British and their allies were eventually forced to evacuate the city, Hood's leadership during this campaign crippled a large part of the French Mediterranean fleet, severely weakening France's naval presence in the region. Even beyond the Siege of Toulon, Hood continued to lead HMS Victory with remarkable tenacity during the Mediterranean campaign. His ability to anticipate enemy movements and adapt to rapidly changing conditions on the sea kept Britain on the front foot during the early phases of the war. His command of HMS Victory was a pivotal period in the ship's long and illustrious career, proving that the ship was as much a part of his legacy as it was Nelson's. Hood's daring operations, his bold strategies, and his refusal to accept defeat in the face of overwhelming odds make him one of the greatest, if often unsung, commanders ever to serve aboard HMS Victory. While Admiral Nelson and Admiral Lord Hood often stand out as the most famous names associated with HMS Victory, this illustrious ship has also served under the command of several other significant figures, each of whom contributed to her rich and storied legacy. Their leadership and strategic decisions helped cement Victory's place not just as a symbol of British naval power, but as a central figure in some of the most pivotal conflicts in maritime history. One of the most distinguished of these commanders was Admiral Sir John Jervis, later ennobled as Earl St. Vincent. Jervis took command of victory during the critical years of the French Revolutionary Wars, a time when the balance of naval power in Europe was constantly shifting, and Britain's supremacy at sea was under threat. His tenure as victory's commander would prove to be one of the most defining periods for both the ship and the Royal Navy. Jervis was known for his strict discipline and unrelenting pursuit of excellence among his crews. His leadership style was intense, but effective, and it was under his command that HMS Victory became an integral part of one of the most celebrated naval victories of the 18th century, the Battle of Cape St. Vincent in 1797. At Cape St. Vincent, the British fleet faced a formidable Spanish armada, significantly outnumbering Jervis' ships. Despite the odds, Jervis remained calm and calculated, using his extensive knowledge of naval tactics to outmaneuver the Spanish fleet. HMS Victory, as his flagship, was at the heart of the battle, its guns blazing as it led the line of battle, setting an example for the rest of the fleet. Victory's role in the engagement was nothing short of remarkable. 
As the Spanish ships attempted to form a defensive line, Jervis saw an opportunity. With victory at the forefront, the British fleet broke through the Spanish formation, isolating their ships and causing confusion among the enemy ranks. The daring maneuvers and superior firepower of the British, led by Jervis and Victory, resulted in a stunning victory that not only bolstered British morale but also dealt a critical blow to the naval power of Spain. It was in this battle that Horatio Nelson, commanding the ship captain, famously disobeyed orders to cut off a retreating Spanish ship and instead took the initiative to engage two larger enemy vessels. Nelson's boldness, coupled with Jervis' brilliant leadership, turned the tide of the battle and secured a decisive win for the British. For his victory, Jervis was made Earl St. Vincent, and his reputation as one of Britain's greatest naval commanders was cemented. As for HMS Victory, her role in the battle was proof once again of her formidable strength and the skill of those who commanded her. Throughout her long and storied career, HMS Victory was not only a symbol of British naval might but also a vessel that shaped the legacies of several distinguished commanders. These leaders, from the American War of Independence to the French Revolutionary Wars, guided victory through some of the most critical moments in British naval history. Each commander left their unique mark, adding to the ship's already illustrious reputation. One such commander was Admiral Augustus Keppel, who took the helm of HMS Victory during the turbulent years of the American War of Independence. Keppel, a seasoned and respected officer, commanded victory during the First Battle of Ushant in 1778, a key naval engagement between British and French forces. Although the battle was inconclusive, Keppel's role in leading the British fleet underscored victory's importance in maintaining Britain's presence in the Atlantic and protecting vital shipping routes during the conflict. Keppel was tasked with preventing the French from gaining a stronger foothold in the Atlantic, and his experience and leadership were crucial in ensuring that the British fleet remained a dominant force in these waters. The First Battle of Ushant, though not a decisive victory, was a testament to the challenges faced by the Royal Navy during the war. Keppel's command of victory during this period was a reminder of the ship's adaptability and the respect it commanded among the officers of the fleet. After Keppel, another remarkable figure to command HMS Victory was Admiral Richard Howe, known for his brilliant naval strategy and leadership. In 1794, Victory was once again at the forefront of a major naval engagement, this time as Howe's flagship during the glorious 1st of June, a pivotal battle during the French Revolutionary Wars. Howe, a veteran of numerous naval conflicts, was tasked with preventing the French from breaking through the British blockade to escort a vital grain convoy from the United States to France. On the 1st of June, 1794, Howe and his fleet, with HMS Victory leading the charge, engaged the French fleet in a fierce battle in the Atlantic. Victory played a critical role in the success of this battle, her firepower and durability proving instrumental in defeating the French forces. Howe's leadership during the battle showcased his tactical brilliance, using Victory as the center of his fleet to break through the enemy line and deliver a devastating blow to the French. The glorious 1st of June is often remembered as one of Britain's most significant naval victories of the period, and HMS Victory's role as the flagship made her the symbol of British triumph. For his success, Howe was celebrated as one of the greatest admirals of his time, and his association with Victory only enhanced the ship's already legendary status. However, the impact of these commanders goes beyond individual battles. Each commander who took the helm of victory recognized not only the ship's formidable combat capabilities but also the symbolic power she represented. Commanding victory was a privilege, and every officer who served on her understood the weight of responsibility that came with such a position. HMS Victory's legacy is not only shaped by her victories but also by the brilliant minds that guided her through the chaos of battle. Each commander contributed to her legend, and through them, the ship became a beacon of British naval prowess, feared by enemies and revered by allies alike. Thanks for watching.